last season on Two Degrees. <laughs> see y'all, see y'all, get some, man. Yeah, get man, that's wrong. There's something wrong with that cat. Really, do you see his wife here? No. You don't? No. Right? Okay. Right. Well, why is he always giving everybody relationship advice then? Like he got his shit together. His shit's all fucked up. I, I know you. It's, uh, you're Audrey, right? Yes, uh-huh. I met you through... Craig and Ross. Craig and Ken Ross, mm -hmm. yeah. right. Yeah, I remember you, but I don't remember this you. Isn't that right. fool married? Yes. Wow. He really is full of shit. What? We're losing this damn house. No. That's why I left. He didn't tell you? No, he didn't tell me about that. I don't like that wife of yours. <sighs> you know, you told me a hundred times. Who's your friend here? I'm Latanya Black. I am your Facebook friend. Have you seen this shit? Take hey, Kiki. Hey, girl. You're a beautiful girl. Thank you. I just thought you should know. This house. This house. The front door. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Carl is having a party and he can't afford a pot in the bathroom to piss in or the windows on this house. I'm standing right here. You on your way home? I am. Can I be on the way home with you? Come on. That's a man code violation. I can't believe that bitch did this. Oh, whoa, 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 Carl. Did you just call a black queen a bitch? Yes, bitch the adjective, not bitch the noun. You know, she, you know, LaDonna walks on two legs, not four. You know, a bitch is a female dog and that's not what I'm saying. That. You know what, shut up. You heard him, ladies. This is some bullshit, Carl. That is abusive. You are an abuser. Carl! What? Get off the damn social media. What? He always does this. Why are you on this damn social media with people that don't give a damn about you? They are not paying you. What is wrong with you? Why does everything have to be tied to a damn paycheck? Because you don't have a damn paycheck. And I'm tired of you living off of my ass. Terrorist. LaDonna Bin Laden. You're terrible. Did you call your wife a saggy titty bitch? Fuck you, you saggy titty bitch. You were supposed to be out there trying to find a damn job. I've been looking. You have not been looking and I don't yeah. give, and I don't give a damn where. <gasps> no. no, I ain't on Facebook. But your ass is on Facebook, <laughs> and your business is everywhere, man. Everywhere. I told you about social media, man. <laughs> Next time, brother, just put your face in a book. <laughs> Y'all seen that ass, though, right? Oh, oh man. Wow. Really? Your marriage is over, brother. And all this whining on Facebook ain't gonna change that. And this man cold thing between me and you? I never liked your ass. Is that you, Carl? But on social media, they said that you uh, had a foreclosure. Foreclosure? Bill, what are you doing with that? Hell out my I car, man. Get out the car. Sure you are, right here. Can't get out the car. Sure you can. I can't get out the car. Get out the car. No. Wasn't sure. Carl Killyheart. Oh my I god. Wait, Smith. foreclosure notice, Carl Gillard? Okay, you see what I'm saying? No! I heard um, your wife's endorsing on social media. Hi, I love that cologne. Mm. What is that? Uh, ambition? Mm. Romance? Um, single and ready to mingle? That one. Did you hear that? Excuse me. Excuse you. You, you. you can't fart in a public place. This is a restaurant. Now, season two.
Who is it? It's Elliot, man. Elliot, what the hell does he want? My brother. Glad I caught you. You got a minute? Do you have a telephone, man? Huh? A telephone warning would have been nice. What do you want? Can I come in? I like what you've uh, done with the. Well, let. Mm. Well, you you look um, you look good. Um, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I was asleep. Mm hmm. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, yeah. It's after eleven. After. Uh, I must have slept in. A long night. Ah, well. Look, the next time you come, could you just at least call first? My bad. Okay. Um. I gotta know. What? What? Why are you wearing that T-shirt? I like the shirt. You like the shirt. Yeah. You like the pride shirt. I prided myself 365 days a year. Don't you have pride in yourself, Elliot? I mean, I have pride, but that's a pride. That's actually a gay pride T-shirt, and you have it on, and I guess I'm asking. I like the shirt, Elliot. What are you talking about? You know what? That's all there is to it. I, I apologize. You know what? It's not even my business. Yeah. Anyway, why are you here? Look, man, we have um, clearly had our moments, and it has been exacerbated by the uh, the whole, you know, the whole LaDonna thing. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I, I, the reason I'm here is I wanted to tell you that I think you're, uh, <clears throat> man, Mm, that's tough. I, I actually, I think that you're a really good dude. Really. You're a good dude. I mean, you little quirky and definitely unconventional. And, and that's okay. That's a, that's a choice. Anyway, um, I'm here because um, I wanted to see if we could reset our little friendship thing that we have. Um, mm. Look, we got the same partners, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they like you. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted you to be among the first people uh, to know that um, La Donna and I, that that we, um, we're engaged. <laughs> and there's a, a really small, special dinner event that we're having tonight at mm. the Hustle Lounge. And long story short, man, I, I, I would appreciate it if you would come. You want me to come? I, yeah, and I do. And why would do. you want me there? Huh? Uh, Does LaDonna know about this, man? Yeah, of course she knows. I mean, and she's cool with it. I, here's the thing, Carl. She... She's happy. I'm happy. And this energy that we've got, man, I, I just, I just want to squash it. You, you, you want me to squash it, huh? Do you want to squash it? You know, you know what, Elliot? 
I'm rising above it. I'm going high, my man. Yeah, I can do that. Carl right. Gilliard goes high. Yeah, I'm going to squash it. That's what I'm going to do right now. Watch me. Ooh, I'm way up there. I'm squashing it, man. You got it. I'm coming. So, I'll so be at the party. You're going to come? I'm coming to the party. Man, like I said, you're a good dude. Nah. It's my daughter, Corinne. Hey, Corinne. Oh, tell her I said hey. Elliot says hey. Oh, hi, Uncle Elliot. Dad, what are you doing tonight? Uh, well, Corinne, I was invited to Elliot's um, engagement party. Uh, Elliot's engaged to LaDonna. LaDonna? You're LaDonna? She's not my LaDonna, Corinne. Okay. Well, she was your wife, Dad. Well, anyway, um, I was invited to LaDonna and Elliot's engagement party, and uh, that's why I'm going to be tonight. Well, I met someone, and I really want you to meet him. Wow. Well, uh, I, I got to meet this man. I got to meet him. If you like him a lot, I have to meet him. Um, would you, can she come to the engagement party? Who, Corinne? Corinne, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. What's What's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock at the Hustle Lounge. Right. Yay! <laughs> All right, see you, Dad. His name is Eric. Eric Fisher. Eric Fisher. Yeah. Sounds like a good brother. Sounds like it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring a date, too. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I'll see you later. Bye, honey. Bye. All right, man. Well, um... Anyway, I appreciate the time. I don't want to overstay. Um, so I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, that painting is... That's on the back of a door. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Or that's something. I, I can't say that I've seen that before. Yeah, I think that's nice. Got it from the African marketplace. Huh. You paid uh, for that? Of course I paid for it. I mean, uh, well... What are you talking about? Oh, nothing, man. I didn't mean anything. But I'm I, glad I, you came by. Hey, man, good, good to see you, and I'll see you tonight, okay? Interesting spot you got here. All right, I'll see you tonight. Later. I am done with the sisters. Done, done, done. Let me explain something to you, fam. I've always been down with sisters. Light, dark, and in between. But they can't see the real Carl. The Carl that is within me. The deep, deep, deep down inside Carl. Enter my new squeeze. She's bubbly, she's sweet. And she's into me. And she's white. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to uh, take the high road. I'm going to rise way above it to go and celebrate LaDonna and Ellie. That's right. As I walk into that party with my new date, my new white girl, Amanda. Let's go. Hey, beautiful. How you doing with your fine chocolate self? I'm fine, handsome. <laughs> Am I going to see you tonight? You didn't forget, did you? Uh, no, no, I was, I was just about to call you, babe. Uh, uh, yeah, so my friend's dog died, and, um, you know, I thought I'd come over and bring him some comfort beers, some hot wings. No, he really loved that dog, baby. Oh, yeah. sorry to hear that. What friend? Timmy. Uh, Timmy is, uh... His dog's name was Lassie, uh, like the TV show, except uh, his dog was a shih tzu. Okay. All right, well, call me later. I will. Maybe we can get together after. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> 
call ended. So where were you last night? You know it's important to me that my man is there at my set, especially if I work in LA. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Well, if you know, why weren't you there? I was there. You were there. I was there. I was sitting in the back. You didn't see me? No, you were there? I was there. Ask that finance waitress, Nadia. She'll tell you. What? You know, she looks good, but her service is bad. Uh -huh. Really bad. Really? My wings were cold. She brought me the wrong drink. And on top of that, I ordered french fries, and she brought me fish sticks. Mm, wow. Yeah. So, you know, I got pissed, and I left. But I'm sorry. You forgive me? Forgive me, right? Look, your next show is at Michaela's, right? I'm so there. And I won't order any food until after you set. Okay. Daddy B! Hey, sweet tea. What's up, man? What it do? Huh? Brand Markitect's <laughs> in the house. Yeah, the Brand Markitect is here. Good evening, everybody. I said good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right, now. So I want you to help me welcome my friend, my frat brother, and my client, Carl Gilliard. Uh, before we do all that, uh, I'm the brand architect, so if you need PR, marketing, branding, call the brother. <laughs> all right, so without further ado, please welcome Carl Gilliard. <laughs> yeah. That was dope, dog. Boom. <laughs> hey, what's going and on, everybody? Lovely what's day for the everybody? night. Amanda! Oh, Woo! Thank you for bringing that, sweetie. Oh, my. Yeah, Woo! Now, this is nice. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's yeah, wonderful. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Tea. Yeah. I'm so mad. Hey, Jay. Mwah! Ah, big tea. Whoa, now, this is nice. This is fantastic. Ooh, black love? I love black love. Always have and always will. Black love matters. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey! This is for you? You shouldn't have. I did. And this is for you, LaDonna. I like to sleep with you right there. I am so happy for you both. Truly. What the hell is this fool doing? It was your idea to invite him. You remember that? Did you see this? Ah! Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. Congratulations, Ellen and LaDonna. Woo! That is beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this spread. Oh, that's a spread fit for a black-ass couple like y'all. Oh. oh, yes, indeed. You know what? Black love is all right. Oh. But not for me. What? Let me introduce my date to you. It's the lovely Amanda. <laughs> Amanda. Hi. Oh, it's so nice to meet it's you. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. All right, this is my girl, AJ. Hey, love your hair. Yes, Thank yes. You. And, and, and Tony. <laughs> and, and that's my man, um, Kevin. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my man. Oh, my <laughs> Yeah. And I'm Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. Hi. And of course, we're all here for LaDonna and Elliot. They're engaged. That's so amazing. Isn't it? I, I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. This is just so nice. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. And I just I just love to have fun. We're gonna have fun, baby. We're gonna have fun, baby. Put you have a seat right here. All right, right there. Just oh. right there. Yes, indeed. Skill yard. We need some drink. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Winters. <laughs> Done again. <laughs> yeah. Girl. <Woo. laughs> yeah. Girl. Yeah. That is one fine lady, man. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. You know what, guys? I'm done with sisters. That is one fine-looking white girl right there. Ain't it? She's white? She's what? Yeah, she's white. Look at her. I was so excited about it. <laughs> it's so cool. She's, she's white. white. <laughs> Come here. Hey, what's up, babe? This fool ruins my engagement party. We are done. You understand me? We are done. He's cool. The boys got him. Baby, look, try to be more understanding, okay? He's one of the boys. Oh, whatever. I am going to be your wife, Elliot, your wife. All these other fools are going to have to go. We are here. We are here. <laughs> it's 
all right. <laughs> yes, indeed. How did you and Carl meet? On Facebook. Facebook? Facebook? Facebook. In this singles group, we immediately hit it off. He's such a great guy. Such a dream. Carl is a total dream. Right. Oh, bread. Is she white? I don't even know Carl. I don't even know Carl. I don't even know Carl. Me neither. I think she is. Is this gluten free? Anyone? She white. I didn't see the GF on it. Did you see the GF? No, I didn't. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I'm Madonna. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Oh. You are just so gracious. Hey, you look beautiful. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. My daughter. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. Hi, LaDonna, good to see you. Oh, I'm so proud of you, girl. Tamron Hall, Oprah, Black Girl Magic, Black Girl Magic. You're just doing the darn thing. So proud of you, Brent. LaDonna, this is my boyfriend, Eric. Eric, this is LaDonna. My... Hey, cousin? My... LaDonna. LaDonna. Nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet Eric. you, too, yeah. <laughs> Hey, my daughter's here. Oh, oh my Hi, goodness. Dad. Oh, look at you. Oh, it's my baby girl. Hey, Dad. Oh, it's good to see you. Okay, Dad, huh? this is my boyfriend, Eric. Hi. <laughs> You're white. Yeah. Come in. Let's go chat a second. I'm sure your dad has some things he wants to talk about with Eric. Oh. So, 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 how did you be my daughter? We were uh, taking the salsa class together. It was really great. And she tried to teach me how to bachata, but I couldn't really get, get the moves down because, you know, <clears throat> my... Honestly, though, it was just, I, I saw her at a bar in Silver Lake and, you know, locked eyes across the room and it was just love at first sight. You know? Love at first sight. Love at first sight. Locking eyes. Yeah, uh, from across the room. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. It... Is that a piano? I dabble. You know? Good for you. Do you mind if I... Great suit. Love the checkers. Oh. <sighs> you look so... so beautiful, my daughter. Thank you. <laughs> daughter? Look, I never heard from you when you broke up with Dad. And then you disconnected on social media. I'm honestly surprised you're talking to me right now. I'm glad. I'm just surprised. Why'd you do that? I, uh, I, it... There's my niece. <laughs> hey, Aunt. How are you, darling? You look smashing. Thank you. Hey, Corinne. How you doing? Hi. Uncle Elliot. You okay? Yeah. So, where's this new friend? My boyfriend. Boyfriend? Okay. He's over there by the piano. Ah. Will you guys excuse me? Oh, of course. Yeah. Sure. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. You okay, Ben? No. Oh, hey, what's up, baby? Hi. Listen to this. <laughs> you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Uh, fundamental things apply as time goes by. you for a minute. Yeah. Um, hey, Corinne, um, 
I'm sure that that uh, that Aaron is a nice guy. Eric. Ah, uh, Eric. That's what I said. I know he's a nice guy. He's uh, obviously very talented. But look at me. Now look at him. Look at me. Now look at him. I always thought that, you know, you're my daughter and I'm your father, that you would choose a, a man who reminded you of your father. Right? But this man is nothing like me. And I, I have to admit that I'm a little hurt. And I, I'm disappointed that maybe I might have failed you in some way. Dad, you taught me to trust my judgment. Mm -hmm. And to choose a man who loves and respects me and adores me. He like adores. you, right? He adores Like me? He does. Like you. I can see that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can see that. I heard the last little bit of that. That was really sweet. <laughs> and I love hugs. So, thank you. I heard you guys have chitlins. Is that right? I would love. I'm going to need you to pump the brakes, Aaron. Pump the brakes and back up. Eric. Oh, oh, that's what I said. Hey, you guys. Thanks for coming. Come on. Have a seat. Get in your seats. Good grief. <laughs> well, um, this is a very special night. LaDonna and myself are really glad that you're here and that you chose to spend the time with us to celebrate. I mean, of course. I mean, we love you guys, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I loved you when you was with Carl. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Carl. Rhonda? Huh? No. I, sippy, I, sippy cup? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I did. Sippy. Wow, the fuck? Um, I mean, life, life happens, Rhonda. Um, you can't plan it. Now, things, didn't work out with Carl, but if, if it hadn't been for Carl, I never would have met the love of my life. Aww. So, I have to say, thank you, brother. And thank you for being big enough to understand and for spending this evening with us. And I cannot wait to start our lives together. And if LaDonna hadn't cheated with you, then oh. I wouldn't be here at this lovely event with all of you and, and with this wonderful, handsome, <laughs> well... <laughs> Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> oh, Elliot, I'm so glad <laughs> I've been able to help you. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, okay, everybody. <laughs> you know, there's a buffet back there oh. with some big chicken and some macaroni and cheese and some brown rice oh. and some carrots and mashed potatoes. You can enjoy the buffet or buffet. order off the menu, y'all. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay, well, let's dig in, y'all. I uh, have something that I want to share publicly. Oh, damn. Oh. We ain't going to never eat. <laughs> this is a night of love and new beginnings. Not just between you two, LaDonna and Elliot, but also my daughter, Corinne. I admit that when she walked in here with her new boyfriend, Aaron. It's Eric. Eric. That's what I said. I was, I was offended. I was offended that as her black father, that she would bring a man to meet me who, well, I'm nothing like him. But maybe that's not true at all. And Corinne, thank you. Thank you for helping me to see that. But also the hypocrisy of it all. Yeah. Because I, an announcement here, true transparency, I am done with sisters. Done. I'm done with sisters. I'm done with black women. Mm -hmm. And as you can see by my beautiful date, Amanda, she's beautiful and she's white. Hold up. White? You think I'm white? Negro, what the 
hell is wrong with you? You think I look white? You think I look white? No. Oh, yeah, we we, we wasn't thinking. Sure. Well, I am black. Okay. okay. Blackity, black, black, black. My mama black, my daddy black. Oh, you done with sisters? Oh, he done with sisters. Well, guess what? I'm done with your black ass. Oh! Oh! Call me an Uber. Oh! Uh, hold on, my Nubian sister. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh, I got you. I'm the brand market tech, and this is my night. Oh, hey. that's your friend. Uh, uh. Oh my God. It's a real man. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a party now. Yes. on the next episode of Two Degrees. Let's just be honest. Elliot stole your wife, man. You're dealing with some serious trauma, though. No, I'm not. Yes, yes you, you are! are! Yeah, I think so. Absolutely, 100%. So, get out of your system. Tell us what's going on. You know, this divorce thing, it's just got me all crazy in my head, man. I mean, the woman was awful to me. She was awful. She was never taking responsibility for anything. She was always unhappy. Dishing out one terrorist moment after the next. Mm. LaDonna Bin Laden. I wake up from this dream and I'm sweating and I'm pining away and I'm nervous. It's like I'm wishing for some alternative reality. It's like I'm pining away for the impossible. And this thing that you got with the sisters, man, come on, you can't be done with the sisters. You can't be. That ain't changing. See, that's a function of your trauma. Here you are dreaming about a woman that terrorized you. You're swearing off sisters based on your experience with one. All jokes aside, man, you need to get to the bottom of that. That's a problem. I'm going to text you my friend Abigail's info. Now, you need to call her. Get yourself some help. You see, things have been a bit blurry since our last date. Uh, consultation. The fellas have, you know, convinced me that maybe you can help me. You've got good friends, Carl. I do. They don't want to see you torturing yourself. And you should know your dreams reflect what's weighing on your heart and mind. Uh-oh. Leave the heart out of this. I hear you, but at some point in time, the heart was in it. Like it or not, after the fact. Okay, 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 I will. How about we get Carl Gilliard free? How about that? Michelle, is she for me or against me? Mrs. Obama is definitely for you. Yeah, the African queens. For me or against me? For you. Oh, oh I'm not so sure that's true. 